On New Year's Day, the gray woodlands at Snake Creek Gap were lovely. So were those on Hurricane Mountain two years ago, and those on Mill Creek Mountain three years ago. Although the trees looked alike, I knew them because I have a degree in forestry. For most laymen, it would be much more difficult because everything looks the same. Trying to identify hardwoods in winter is a bit like opening a physics textbook for the first time. It can be overwhelming. There are about 270 tree species native to Georgia and perhaps another 150 introduced from other places, so identifying them is challenging every season, but especially so in winter when distinctive leaves, flowers, and fruit are absent. Many subtle things help experts identify deciduous trees. Deciduous trees are those whose leaves die and usually shed each fall, but even in winter some hardwoods stand out so that identification is easy. Here are 10 Georgia trees you can identify by bark and other attributes. Number 1. Northern Red Oak. Common in the Piedmont and mountains, this tree is unlike any other because it has vertical pewter or silver colored stripes that strongly contrast with its dark bark. The stripes are less noticeable on smaller northern red oaks, but always present on mature ones. Number two, American sycamore. The white or mottled white and olive bark on this tree is distinctive. The stark white color often stands out at a distance, like this one on the Marble Mine Trail at James H. Floyd State Park in Chattooga County. Sycamore favors bottomlands and is found throughout Georgia. Number three, shagbark hickory. The conspicuous bark on this species peels back in lengthy, rigid, curving strips. Shagbark hickory is found in the northern half of the state in bottomlands and on ridges and mountain slopes. Number four, yellow poplar. This impressive forest tree grows straight and tall, its trunk distinctly columnar and sometimes free of branches nearly to its crown. Dried seed pods are usually visible in the crown. Some specimens are massive, like this one on the Pinhoti Trail in the Cahutta Mountains. Yellow poplar is found throughout the state, but most commonly in the Piedmont and mountains. Number five, Devil's Walking Stick. This shrub or small tree has clusters of small sharp thorns that circle the stem at intervals. It is the only Georgia hardwood with small thorns Several other hardwoods have much larger thorns, including honey locust and hawthorns. Devil's walking stick is occasional throughout Georgia, usually in scattered thickets at woodland margins. You'll know it's there when you grab it, as I did while bushwhacking on John's Mountain last April. Ouch! Number six, black gum. The limbs of most trees, like this chestnut oak, have branches that grow at acute angles to the trunk. But black gum is common throughout the state and stands out because many of its branches are perpendicular to the trunk. Not all of them, but enough to make their shape distinctive. The bark on mature black gum specimens usually has a blocky appearance. Number seven, white oak. Found throughout the state except in the Okefenokee Swamp region, this important forest tree is readily identified in winter by its gray flaky bark. The flaking isn't rigid, nor is it as large as that of shagbark hickory. The state champion white oak tree is its spring bank in Bartow County. Three hardwood species usually keep most of their autumn brown leaves through winter, finally dropping them in March. Number eight, American beech. Thin, translucent, copper-colored leaves persist until early spring, although not always on large specimens. American beech is locally common in river and creek bottoms and less common on mountain slopes and ridges throughout the state, except its southeast corner. I like this stand on Blue Springs Branch in Gordon County. Number nine, black oak. One of only two oak species that usually holds its dead leaves over winter. The other, blackjack oak, is a small tree with spatula-shaped leaves. Black oak becomes a large forest tree. Its thick, dull brown leaves have the familiar oak shape. The bark of young black oaks is smooth and gray. 
In older ones, it is dark brown or black. Black oak is found throughout the state except the southeast corner. Number 10, chalk maple. The smooth gray-white bark, often patterned with rows of holes drilled by yellow-bellied sapsucker woodpeckers and its maple-shaped leaves, are characteristic. No other maple holds onto its leaves over winter. Chalk maple is occasional in the northern half of the state. A sure place to find it is along the Pinhoti Trail between High Point and Mack White Gap in Chattooga County. You may not find these trees in your yard, but you're likely to find some or most of them on hikes in Georgia woodlands. On your next outing, keep your eyes open. Have fun looking and thank you for watching.